If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this episode 70 of Learn Gemeter series, today we are going to see about my very first Gemeter plugin called Validate Thread Group. Validation is a core feature in Gemeter where you can run your or validate your test plan with a one thread, one iteration, no timers and zero startup delay. This will help us to validate the test plan instead of running the whole test plan. How do you validate this? By simply right clicking on the thread group and you have to select the validate option. If you are serious into debugging, you have to keep right clicking on the thread group, then you need to validate your test plan. And most often the thread group configuration is parameterized and really you don't want to configure or change it just for debugging purpose. So you have to right click and validate but this is a speed breaker. So that is why I created this plugin. It's uh, my very first Gemeter plugin. So this will bring up the validate feature to the Gemeter toolbar. So instead of right clicking, you just simply click on the validate button on the toolbar. So why we need this plugin? So as I mentioned earlier, if you are seriously into debugging, you need to keep right clicking and this will cause frustration because it did for me. That's why I brought this feature to the Gemeter toolbar and no need to right click. You simply just click on the validate button. In future, I'm going to build up the uh, shortcut so that no need to even click on the button. You can just simply press some shortcut key. So now it's time for a quick demo. First, let us see my GitHub repository. So if you go to this GitHub repository, the link in the description. So this repository, you can refer how the feature is implemented. And if you want to build this uh, jar from this uh, repository, you have to just clone it and build using Maven. Or you can go to releases and you can download the jar and then you can keep the jar into the library slash ext folder in your Jmeter home. Or if you are a fan of uh, Jmeter plugins manager, just go to jmeterplugins.org and if you search for uh, validate, you will get my plugin here. So you have to download and install the plugins manager. You can refer my previous video how to do that. So in this uh, Jmeter instance, I have the plugin manager installed. So I'm going to uh, click on this plugin manager. And if you uh, go to available plugins and if you search for uh, validate here, you will get the plugin and just check this and click on apply changes and restart Jmeter. So this will download the jar and it will place it in the library slash ext folder and then it will restart the Jmeter. Once it is restarted, you can see the button on the toolbar. So now if you see, there is a button called validate the group. So it's a green uh, checkbox. So now let me just open uh, some sample uh, Jmeter uh, test plan and let us try to click on the button and see what's happening. So I'm going to validate by simply clicking on it. And now if you see the visual tree, you can uh, see the uh, results. So this is how this plugin is implemented. And if you have multiple thread groups, it will execute everything together. For example, now let me just uh, duplicate this and let me add the uh, listener uh, here to the uh, test plan, the core, uh, the root test plan. And if you just click on the validate, you can see there are four requests. So this HTTP request debug sampler is for the third group one and uh, this HTTP request and this debug sampler is for this particular third group. So this is how validate the third group uh, button works using this plugin. But in future, I'm going to implement the uh, shortcuts and also if you want to validate only this particular third group or validate all, so those kind of features I'm planning to implement. If you have anything in mind, please uh, raise the issue here. And if you want to, uh, to contribute, please uh, contribute. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.